So social media has completely changed basketball. There is no question about that. And the people that are the biggest social media stars a lot of time are the kids of current or former NBA players, especially the stars and former NBA All-Stars. So we all know about Zaire Wade and Bronny James teaming up at Sierra Canyon. We know about, I'm trying, Stephen trying to think, we know about obviously Shaq's kids. We know about Bull Bull, because obviously his dad was in the NBA as well. And we know about these guys much more than a lot of people would have known about the kids of NBA players in the past. Whether that's a good or a bad thing is yet to be seen because we haven't seen too many of them come through. But in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the kids of arguably the greatest player to ever live, Michael Jordan. And I'm gonna be talking about um, mainly Marcus Jordan, who unlike a lot of people believe, people believe Mark, that Michael Jordan's kids were terrible basketball players, was actually a relatively high level pro standard player, which is kind of crazy considering that not many people know of him even playing basketball at all. But before we get on to the video, I'd just like to say we are doing a daily December, trying to hit 110,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Look, we're probably not gonna hit it, but at least it's a, it's a good goal getting a video up every single day. So if you guys are new to, new to the channel, subscribe. But anyway, now let's get on to the video. So Marcus Jordan, is actually only 28 years old right now. So had he been an NBA level player, he'd be currently playing the NBA right now. And he is the better of Michael Jordan's two kids. His older brother, Jeffrey Jordan, was a six foot one point guard. Didn't really get much of Michael's genetics, but he also was, he played division one basketball. He's better than 99.9% .9 of people that will ever pick up a basketball, but did only average one point a game at division one level. So. Would you consider him a pro player? Probably not. But Marcus Jordan, however, was elite. Marcus Jordan in high school led his school to an Illinois State 4A championship title where he scored 19 points in the final. And he was actually rated as the 60th best two guard in the country. And he actually earned the state tournament MVP. So Marcus Jordan was a three-star recruit and went to the University of Central Florida. So he would have been a good player. Like that's a very, very similar ranking to what Zaire Wade is right now. And Zaire Wade obviously is a three-star recruit right now. Who knows if his team do really well and he plays well, let's be real, he probably will get some more offers. But without question, him in his senior year was in a similar position to where Zaire Wade is this year. And in college for UCF, it wasn't like he was bad. He was very good. During his freshman year, however, is probably the biggest impact he made was he refused to not wear Jordan shoes and ended up um, causing Adidas to pull their sponsorship with the team. And in his freshman year, he scored eight points per game and in his whole college career scored over 1,000 points. He made the all freshman team for his conference at CUSA in his uh, freshman year. And in his sophomore year in 2011, he actually made the all conference second team where in 31 games, he averaged 15.2 points per game, three rebounds a game and 3.3 assists per game. However, he did average three turnovers per game. In his junior year, he started all 31 games, averaging 13.7 points a game, 2.7 rebounds and 2.4 assists. And in the end, he averaged 12.3 points per game for his college career. And he decided to leave the basketball team during his senior year, although he stayed in college and continued to take classes. So just from looking at that, it's very obvious that Marcus Jordan is a significantly better basketball player than um, people give him credit for. He was a guy who was one of the better players on a solid enough college team. And in his sophomore year, it wasn't like they were playing as bad competition. He scored 18 points in a game where they beat Florida, who were the number 16 team in the nation. So Marcus Jordan, while he wasn't an NBA level player, there's very few people that are. He wasn't Michael Jordan. Let's be real, you can there's an argument that a couple of guys were at the same level. I would definitely argue that an argument can be made between him and LeBron James, but there's literally one person since Michael Jordan that you can even argue is Michael Jordan level. He was never gonna be his dad. Could Marcus Jordan have made the NBA? Probably not. He was a 6'4", two guard, not the most athletic player in the world, shot a low percentage from the field. But the thing is, again, averaging 15 points per game, division one, he's a relatively high level pro. He could have gone over and played overseas. He could have played in an awful lot of countries. He could have played at a high enough level. 
he was a really really solid division one player and significantly better than any pros that will come over and play in ireland anyway but yeah so Marcus Jordan was a player that in high school was a similar level to what Zaire Wade is right now. But because the whole social media era hasn't re or didn't really take off at that stage in like 2009, that's the reason why people haven't really heard of him and the kind of stigma that he was terrible at basketball because he never made the NBA has been around. So Marcus Jordan's obviously set up the trophy room shoe shop. He's doing well, he's been he's been successful, and while he didn't play professional basketball, if he wanted to, he could have, and he had a successful basketball career. Again, better than 99, probably 99.9% .9 of the people that will ever touch a basketball. But just not quite Michael Jordan. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.